and we're racing in Music City, USA. with a very aggressive move to block Josh Berry to take that first spot. Didn't take long for Christopher Bell to also slide up in front of the four of Berry. And so Berry's dropped back to third and under pressure now. Here comes Larson. He's going to try to take the spot away. Rick, you'll see we're completing lap nine of 90 laps. They can run about 75 or 80 on Sunoco fuel. So a pit stop is required to even run this first stage. If we don't have a yellow, it'll be interesting to see. We heard Allen say, well, it lays out easy on paper, but you can hear the tone in his voice, which is, maybe I have some other ideas. Marty, I'm not going to tell you. That's what it sounded like in the interview. There you go. Hand out the window for the 34 McDowell, who will be coming to pit road. Not a straightforward entry. It's kind of a tough transition, Jeff, off the banking. Yeah, it's a very tough pit road. Oh. It's actually continuing around. Oh, I saw the hand out the window, so something changed for sure. One more as we see Justin Haley on pit road. I think that's why the 51 is pitting in front of the 34. Excuse me, behind the 34. So they didn't want Mike and McDowell to come around the 51, just trying to get organized on pit lane. Watch, watch Christopher Bell. He drives in the corner. And instead of just staying on the bottom, He's up the racetrack trying to get Priest to give up the spot. Ryan's like, nah, I'll stay right here. <laughs> stay right in front of him. Yeah, look, Priest is a hard racer. He, he, is, he is used to tight battles, races modifieds, grew up racing them, and he doesn't mind a little door banging. He's accustomed to it. Differing strategies all up and down the field. Bell and Hamlin running 1-2, Larson and Reddick 3-4, Brad Keselowski is 5th, Ty Gibbs 6th, William Byron, Busher, Trucks Jr., and Bubba Wallace all inside the top 10 right now, hoping to get stage points. And off of 4, it's going to be Christopher Bell. He won the Xfinity race and the Cup race in Iowa, or excuse me, New Hampshire, a week ago. And now he wins stage 1 here in Nashville. That's the 8th stage win already this season. Hey, right, you're traveling off the 45. No pressure on that 24. One outside, two outside. Two outside, 45 sliding up the block. They're two wide now, just two by two here. And already, look how that bottom of the racetrack is starting to get black again with the rubber being driven into it. And 11 laps complete of a 95 lap stage, kind of rinse and repeat what we saw in the in the first stage. Win teams pit, I think it's gonna be a wide window. Some will pit early, some will stay out. We'll just cover it as we go. This is a heck of a battle between Josh Berry and Austin Dillon. I think they've swapped, oh, right there, a little hand signal. Like, nope, nope, I want the bottom or go ahead through. Yeah, Josh Berry's like, all right, this has gotten a little too aggressive. Let's, let's, let's work together on this thing. A lot of racing left. Caution is out here in Nashville, and it's yesterday's Xfinity Series winner, John Hunter Nemechek, that slid off of turn four and into the infield grass. Take a look. He's running 37th. You can see the back of the pack, so struggling with his race car. Just trying to find some speed. The grip isn't there. Car goes around. I thought he was going to get stuck in the grass, but just stayed in it and kept rolling just enough to get him back on the, on the asphalt and the concrete. And great luck. Run to you, 19. Tight ahead, tight ahead. You're going to have a run on entry here. Two, three. You're three top here. Three top. Three or four. Four. Four, one outside. Clear outside. Clear outside. One. Two bottom. Two bottom. Now just one. 54 inside. While he kept his eyes focused in front. Oh, oh and around with the 54. Gibbs slides into the grass. The caution comes out. Roll it out to the asphalt here. Roll it out to the asphalt. He's on the bottom underneath the 48 coming up. The 48's all the way against the wall. So really, I think Ty just needed the racetrack. Obviously, he was having some handling concerns. And green flag. Ty, Ty ahead, Ty behind. Flies right with you. Quarter off of you. You're three mid if you stay there. Three mid. 
three, 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 stagger three. Clear up, clear up, all clear right here. We are limited right now on some of our camera angles that we can show to you because of lightning in the area. Now we're seeing the caution come out. Some of our camera operators had to come off of scaffolding and off of their elevated positions, and that's why we were going to more of the onboard cameras there, or maybe the robotics. And you're seeing now the weather. No driver in Nashville needs this more than this man, Kyle Busch. Yeah. 36, one lap down, he will get the free pass. So he's going to be put back on the lead lap. This is that moment where everybody's going to have to go in the truck, have to have some tough conversations, and at some point it needs to be, th this team's too good to be running 36th. As he calls them to the green flag and the restart. Okay, a little bit ready, go, go, go. 45 long, 20 bumper already to find the bottom here, nine and a half off of you. One inside, just Chris here. Driving off the nine here, mirror, keep up in your track, you're good. Just driving off Chris down there. Kyle Busch again was the recipient of the free pass, so he's back on the lead lap and currently running in the 30th position. Talking about this battle back here is always crazy intense. Right in front of this battle is the four car, Josh Berry. Remember, he started on the front row today. And he is not, he was fast in practice yesterday. He looked good, but he has not had the speed at all today, all the way back in 27th spot. Brad Kozlowski. Restarted in fourth. He's fallen to fifth, but staying right up there in the top five. Chris Fell won stage one, trying to sweep the stages here in Nashville. Dylan fighting to stay on the lead lap. And out of four, that is going to be a sweep of the stages for Christopher Bell. It's the fourth time that he's swept the first two stages of a race. He definitely wants to change history when it, oh, maybe not so happy between Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson. Denny radioed that he was okay, he's Don't gonna get him. The grab ass him later. That's right, they're radioing to his driver to calm down, but Denny said I was gonna get him. Didn't like something about the way that Kyle Larson raced him. Teammates up front as we get ready to go back to racing for the final stage. Hamlin Bell back into the gas. A great restart for Christopher Bell. Tyler Reddick in the 45 trying to follow him on the bottom of the racetrack. And clear that 11 of Hamlin. And you can feel the intensity. Bell looks clean out front, but back too wide through the field. The left, left, sides. left sides. Yeah, left sides are up, right sides are up. Maybe it's a vibration or maybe just stuff in the tires. Yeah. Third gear won't go into pit. Oh, you heard the drive line. Won't go into fifth, so they go from fourth to fifth during the lap. McDowell reports it won't shift correctly. Reddick completes the pass on Hamlin. Reason for the caution again, the 15 of Riley Herbs, but the seven involved in this one. You can see they're side by side, entering turn one. The seven car, according to Joy, on the bottom of the racetrack, never is able to stay on there where he needs to be up the racetrack, gets into the 15. Riley Herbst in the wall. Bell on the inside, Reddick on the outside. Denny Hamlin in Great that play. second row. Hamlin trying to make a three wide, contact made. Car up into the wall behind them. And that's the 43 of Eric Jones. So the wheel nut is still there. So the wheel is still attached. I don't know if it came loose or if the tire just went flat either way. It's right at the top of the screen, you see, you see why he says it just straight up the racetrack. You ready, you ready, you ready. Really good restart there again for Denny Hamlin. Let's see if he can capitalize on that speed going into one. But here comes Blaney. What a run he has. Three wide as they're fighting for that third position. And Truex with a great run on the very top of the racetrack up to third. 
I don't think Denny knows which lane he's looking for. Bell shipped it down in there, that corner. He drove it way down in the corner, but it hurt him on corner exit. Oh, a wreck behind him. We see the nine of Chase Elliott, Rick. Sliding into the grass. Caution comes out for the eighth time. Easy, 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 easy. Everything looks fine right there, but around it goes. And that's the razor's edge that these drivers are on. I spoke to several drivers this morning, and they, what they said was that to get the car to turn in the middle of the corner, the back of the car doesn't feel like it's stuck in the racetrack. As we get ready for the restart, Allendinger on the outside. Ready, 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 ready. 75 laps remain here in Nashville. Again, the five cars up front all stayed out on the racetrack when the others on the lead lap came to pit road. And a few falling back early on this restart. That 42 car in the middle of John Hunter Nemechek, it's missing a right front fender. So I understand that it's lacking the pace. Joey Logano, though, bottom three wide. That bright yellow 22 inside of Chastain and Bubba Wallace. So how does this strategy work out for Blaney, Allmendinger, LaJoy, Chastain, Logano? Do they have to run a long oh, way? Oh, Christopher Bell Don't have around. To. Big damage on the 20. Huge hit for Christopher Bell. Caution has come back out again. Broken, broken toe link. Oh, he just gets loose. He's all by himself. We talked about dancing on that razor's edge and what happens when these cars get loose, and there it is. Christopher, that thing came around on Christopher before he even knew it. As coming back to the restart, 66 laps remain. Three, 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 three. Pushing out. Four wide as they come into turn one. And a lot of beating and banging back here, fighting for track position. Going to try to make the high side work there. As you see, the three wide there between LaJoy, Bush, and Hamlin. Hamlin's going to take the inside as well. As for Chastain, took two tires on that last stop to get his track position. The car's a little bit tight, but Ross is now making that pass. That's for second place. Ross trying to go back to back here at Nashville, won a year ago. And believe it, oh, big spin. Kozlowski into the wall. Came down on Dylan. Must have thought he had him cleared. Seven. Down the back straightaway. Yeah, there's got to be more to this story because the 77 just hooks the 21. I think NASCAR is going to like that under caution. Ready, green, green, green. Danny Hamlin wastes no time. Gets to the bottom three wide. Oh, look way up the racetrack. racetrack. Look at all the spots he's losing. Blaney racing Chastain hard up front. Chastain able to clear it coming off turn four. He goes to the bottom. Larson has cleared the eight of Bush, and so Larson up to third. Now eight laps to go. Hamlin way up the racetrack again. This time he'll have momentum if they come off of turn two. Hamlin stays high. Chastain to the bottom of the racetrack. Hamlin entered high that time, though, and that's going to give him a huge run off of four. A little run here. The line down a little lower. Chastain blocks lower. again all the way down to the apron. Oh, a big wobble by Chastain. That opens the door. Here comes Hamlin. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. Focus forward. Half back. Momentum here. Denny Hamlin coming. Oh, what a slide by Austin Sindrick. That brings the caution out. There'll be a restart. 
Still side by side off of turn two. Oh, just a little contact. And when it did, it just caused Cindric to lose. It is overtime. Presented by Credit One Bank as they come into the restart zone. Hamlin on the inside. Chastain on the outside. Green flag back in the air. A big push by the five, and up the racetrack, he catches the one. Chastain into the wall. Big contact, caution comes out again. Gabe Hart said, I only have one chance at a green-white checkered. As we see Austin Dillon shoving the 43 of Eric Jones. But behind them, the three wide. But that right there, just Larson gets up the racetrack. They were, he was pushing. It looked like he was pushing Hamlin. Not sure how that happened. We'll find out, but green flag back in the air. A great start for the 11. The five duck down, cut the 19, and we've got a spin in the back. Let's see if he's able to keep it straight and we stay green. Three wide per second. Denny Hamlin pulling away. Will he have enough fuel to come all the way back around? They're wrecking behind him. The caution will come out again. The back, There's back. four over time. Caution, caution on the back. The 10 goes up there. We're four wide right here. Oh, it's back actually behind that. I couldn't see. I was looking up some. Maybe if we see that one more time right there at the end, somebody gets into the 51. I mean, I don't. It's. Corey Himes sideways in the 50 there. Yeah, the 51, the 50, you see Josh Berry. Two to go from Nashville. The five doesn't go. They bottle up behind him, big wreck for the eight. Out of fuel. Five was out of fuel, caution comes out again. That's what we talked about earlier. If you run out of fuel in front of this pack, it's going to get ugly. You know, Elliott ends up spinning him around, but it's not his fault. He just He's expecting Larson to be going, and he can't. Getting ready for the restart again. LaJoya in that second row. Logano and Chase Briscoe make it up row one. Looks like the nine's out of fuel. He falls back. They're side by side for the lead. 48 looks like he's not accelerating as well as he had hoped. The 71 has some momentum battling up front. Logano back to the inside. Chase Briscoe fighting on the outside. Logano drifts up the racetrack. He takes Briscoe all the way up out of the groove. And Briscoe gets to him. White flag here by two. Yellow's out. Crap. One more time, we're going to try overtime. They didn't get to the white flag. And you see the four. Such a tough day for Josh Berry. Goes sideways into the wall and then down. And it didn't look like he was able to refire. No, and that's There's a pretty, caution. and it's a heavy impact. Back in the gas they go. Both get away clean. Great restart for Logano. Now it's about hitting your marks. You don't have to defend. Just make lap time. And do you have enough fuel? Tyler Reddick making the move on the high side all the way up to fourth. Down the back stretch. Here comes Briscoe. Logano on the bottom. Briscoe drifting back. Here comes Reddick. He is flying. He is going to get to the 22. One to go. White flag in the air. Next flag ends the race. Reddick to the high side. Logano drifts up. Logano looking for a win in 2024. Reddick, one more chance through three and four for the final time. He goes up the racetrack. Logano goes up to block. Off turn four. Logano is going to win in Nashville. No! Oh, yes, we did it! Yeah! Yeah! It is still running. done it. 
Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.